Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this short video, I'll be showing you how to fix MSVCP100.dll missing problem. Yesterday, I was trying to install a program. So I right click to exe file and select run as administrator. And I found this, this program can start because msvcp100.dll is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling. I reinstall but it didn't work. After some online research I finally found the way out. And here it is. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for msvcp100.dll. I think the first result you'll find is from dll-files.com. Let's see what they have. They are offering three different packages. One is premium, which will cost around $30. Others are free. I prefer free this time. I don't know about the second one. The third one is perfect for this operation. Click when download zip file. They want me to select the bit and version of Windows. Click on the version you're using. Make sure you select the correct bit. If you don't know your Windows version, open your start menu and search for system. Click on System Information. Now you can see mine is x86 based computer. That means it's 32 bit. So I select the first one. Click on Download. Sorry I'm taking too long to download. As the download completes, Hit open. The zip file contains two files. One is the DLL file, and other is readme. We can leave the readme file alone. The next thing you need to do is, copy the DLL file. As the file is zipped, I can copy directly. You may also unzip the zip file and copy, or you can follow me. Open your C drive. Then open Windows folder. Find the folder named System32. This is the folder you have to paste the DLL file downloaded earlier. If you haven't unzipped yet, follow my method. The folder is filled with a huge number of DLL files required for your computer. Paste the file here. If you haven't copied yet, you can drag the DLL directly to the folder, as I'm doing now. Click on replace. It might ask administrator access. Give it. That's all. For some case a restart is required. The job is done. For some rare cases, if your problem is not solved yet, install the Visual C++. Click on download. Select your Windows version. Then it's a regular installation. That's all. I believe you won't have to do this part. Don't forget to like and share if you find this helpful. And also subscribe to our channel to get smart tricks like this.